So when the artist Bob Ross created his art, he liked to do happy little trees. I'm a little bit different. I like to make uh, things that make the viewer laugh and make me laugh. And I created this artwork uh, to kind of make fun of social networking sites, especially MySpace. You see some real train wrecks of pictures on MySpace, misspellings, you know, nudity. That That's like the profile pics of the day. And it's the job of the artist to document the times. I'm just trying to do my share. Anyway, to make this artwork, it took me 11 steps, and I'm going to talk you through those 11 steps, and I'm starting out with the pencil drawing. This was the longest step. Uh, it took me about 45 minutes to do this pencil drawing. I have it on super fast forward right now, and probably for the entire artwork, it took me two to two and a half hours, but um, I really like to get off to a good start uh, that I could work work on uh, and, you know, add on. So I make sure that I do the uh, the pencil drawing uh, as accurately as uh, I intend it to be. Illustration marker, uh, I just use that to put uh, quick layers of color on. Uh, you know, it, it dries a lot faster than paint, uh, especially oil paint. And, you know, it, it, it's a it's very uh, quick way that you can get things done. I'll give you a tip uh, that I want you to remember uh, that I'm going to come back to later in this video. The bony areas of the face and the body, uh, I'm going to put uh, green. Uh, they're going to lean more towards green. And the fleshy areas, such as the cheeks, they're more red. And you especially see that in older people. And, you know, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to bring this up a little bit later in the video, especially when I do the last layer of paint. Uh, but um, th that's what I was trying to get with the markers. I was using uh, cool markers, cool green, and warm red. Colored pencil, uh, it's just, I like using colored pencil because it has a really fine tip, and you could, you could do those great details. And it also mixes really well with the next step, which is going to be oil paint. Uh, and it actually primes the surface of the paper, almost like gesso, uh, and allows me to put paint on top of it. And, you know, some of my works, I've painted uh, oil paint over paper, and it's like five, six years old now, and it, there's no bad effects. Uh, a lot of people would say, you know, if you don't prime your paper with gesso, which I actually sometimes do, uh, you know, that there would be problems, but I've had no problems. But yeah, I'm, it, color pencil, you could blend with them, and you could be extremely accurate with them. So I'm looking to get the details in. I'm starting to work on the tones. I really, really depend on getting the tones and the colors correct with oil paint. Um, each one of these mediums has their strengths and their weaknesses. Uh, I would say oils paint, uh, oil paint's weakness is its drying time. Uh, that seems to drive everybody crazy uh, because you have to wait for it to dry. But you could put it on thick. You could put it on transparent. Uh, you could do so many things with it. It's the most versatile medium that that's out there, I would say. Um, I'm actually going to change this quite a bit because uh, at this point, when I was doing it, I didn't really like the face uh, that I put on. And you're going to see the changes that I make to it in the next uh, part with uh, Photoshop. But I, I'm just looking to smooth things out right now. I didn't intend to uh, do this twice. You're going to see me do this again later. But, you know, when you don't like things, you make changes. And that's what I'm going to do. I felt that the pose was a little bit too straight. So you're going to see what I'm going to do right now. Okay, let it dry and... When it's on paper, it dries a lot faster. So this is like a day later. I scanned it, and I opened it up in Photoshop. Uh, Photoshop allows me to straighten out the letters, uh, cut somebody's hand off, and photo collage. I like those eyes better, so I put them in. And, you know, she has flirt on her shirt, so, you know, I felt that... A mouth without teeth, yeah, that's not really flirty. So I kind of, I found the lips and I put those on. I basically uh, cut out the body 
opened it up in another uh, image on the side, then I erased the body and then I slanted it and that's what I'm doing with the head now. A lot of people when they take those pictures they stick their butt out so um, that I just did that. Uh, now I print and you're going to see me repeat with uh, colored pencils. I'm going to put another layer of colored pencil on and then I'm going to put another layer of oil paint. And I think of this as not too different from layering oil paint. Uh, you know, so many people yeah, have been trained as painters. And, you know, like, uh, it, it, it's almost like an onion. There's layers in an onion. I'm sorry, I'm not going Shrek on you. Uh, but, you know, there's different surfaces and layers within an onion. You can do that with oil paint. Um, you can also do that by printing out. You know, it, this allowed me to put, uh, to give my work a new depth. And I feel that uh, the scanner and the printer are the most underutilized uh, art materials out there. Most people don't even consider them art materials, but they have so many possibilities. And I love using them. I, I feel that it adds a new dimension to my work. And now I'm going to put on the finishing touches. This is it this time. I like her pose a lot better. She's slanted. The facial expression is right. Okay, back uh, back to the uh, cheeks and the, the red and the green. Bony areas, you see a lot of bony areas in the chest. Um, I'm going to make them a little bit greenish in tint. Uh, that's not to say that there's gonna, not going to be some red in there. There will be some red in there or else she'll look totally dead. But the predominant color in the bony areas of the body, um, the hands, uh, the chest, the chin, uh, the cheekbones uh, above the capillary areas, those are going to be uh, uh, greenish. And the areas that are really fleshy, those are going to be reddish. I save all of my characters as PNG files, and that way I can reuse them. I have hundreds, and I'm letting her, you know, t take the picture in the bathroom, just like you see on MySpace all the time, and I'm posing the other characters. And I, I have a lot of fun with this. That one was one of my first characters that I did. And I've gotten a big response from her, so I use her quite a bit. But I wanted this scene to be like gawking girls, like how dare she? How dare she do what we do? I just want my work to be funny. There's too much serious art in the world. Serious gets boring. And that's about it. Well, I have a new section on my website called Supplies That I Use and you know, I touched upon each one of the supplies that I used uh, today uh, in, in this video, but um, you can go, I'm going to put a link in the video description. And here we go. And it's going to lead you uh, to this page, Supplies I Use. And as you can see, there's a liquid there. Um, there's the paper that I use. That's important. Um, and, and lots of other important stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to uh, leave a comment. And I hope, uh, I hope that this video, uh, that this artwork inspires you. Uh, thank you for watching.